yeah. but one Ogre Pond, that's going to be such a huge and more impactful thing for your team. But here, we're done talking about Ogre Pond for now, unless one of these competitors have brought them in, because we're getting to the first game. We have Bradley versus Justin, and already we're seeing... Guess who? That Incineroar. Both Incineroars <laughs> on both sides of the field. And here's our first look at Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider is a weird Pokemon in this format. Shadow Rider is a Pokemon that's seeing a ton of play but hasn't seen any major victories. So I'm curious if this is the tournament where we'll see Shadow Rider truly shine and show what's making it such an impactful threat. Yeah, so, you know, Calyrex Shadow Rider, it is a relatively... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It is an insanely threatening Pokemon, but oh. the problem is it's just very fragile. Yeah, and I mean, you look at Incineroar here. Incineroar attacks really well in the Shadow Rider with Snarl, with Knock Off. This is actually a very dark type Incineroar, which is interesting. We're seeing that Snarl low the special attack probably to counter Shadow Riders, to counter Kyogres, and to counter Terrapagos. We are seeing a Terra off the bat here. Terra into that Shadow Rider. Mm. Into the Terra Fairy, actually a great Terra there to block a lot of those Dark type moves and to shut down, th uh, shut down that Raging Bolt. And this is going to help address some of the uh, issues we're mentioning. It being very fragile, the Fake Out will also be very good at that too. But this is where everything gets serious, okay? Yeah, nasty there, plot. <laughs> there's a nasty plot. That Shadow Rider looks incredibly scary. Parting shot though. Parting shot will get it to minus one here. It's a, it's a or we'll get it to plus one, it's it's still, but it's still incredibly strong. It's going to be a huge and potent striker for sure. I would be worried for anything switching in right now. It has the Chi Yu uh, that could be a threat. That's a fire dark. Uh, so with that fairy type being prominent, hopefully that's going to be a factor that's going to allow them to make some good decisions. But with that grassy surge coming in too, with that Rillaboom, you got one extra thing to worry about now. Yeah, Chi Yu is, is a hit and miss Pokemon here. The one thing you have to remember with Chi Yu is that it does lower the special attack of everything on the field, or lower the special defense of everything on the field. So here's Chi Yu coming in, and now Chi Yu is putting on, it would make it Calyrex actually even stronger if it came out, that Shadow Rider. So we'll see if he starts laying on the attacks for Shadow Rider here. I'm not sure what his moveset is, so it could, who knows what it has in the bag. It could <laughs> pop, I wouldn't be shocked if maybe it's got Terra Blast, and we'll look to just instantly knock out that Raging Bolt. For taking back the Incineroar and sending the Raging Bolt out now. I like this a lot because not only does this allow you to threaten and intimidate back with your switch in, but I feel like Raging Bolt might be able to comfortably take a couple of these shots. But first, we're seeing a huge hit coming out from the Calyrex. Calm mind, you wish that came out just a little bit earlier. Would have reduced some of the damage that you just took, but you're going to take it now. It's at pretty low HP, but at least it's going to be slightly bulkier, plus the Grassy Surge would allow it to heal a little bit more. Whether or not it's going to be able to tank another hit, I'm really not confident. I'm not sure. No, that Astral Barrage did a ton of damage. I mean, Raging Bolt going to get up to maybe 40% here. Just under 40. It's still going to be in a, t a really good position here. I think it could take another Astral Barrage, but it won't. It might just barely live. Rillaboom's not looking great here. And now we're looking at the other side of this Raging Bolt that's now that's putting pressure on the opposing Raging Bolt. And so we'll see we'll see what happens here. That Thunderclap is really strong. It's a super impactful move. Actually switching back out Raging Bolt. You're getting that intimidation back with your Rillaboom being primarily a physical attacker. I really respect this play. Just make it be even less potent, even less, uh, less of a problem for you. Um, but we're going to see the Protect come out. Whether or not it's going to be very effective here, we're going to have to see what the play was. This is going to be another Astral Barrage, not too surprising. This Rillaboom is most likely going to go down as a result of this one. I'd be surprised if not. And that is a KO'd Rillaboom, allowing the switch in of the Chi Yu, or maybe the Incineroar. I don't know if you really want to bring the Incineroar out. I think you want to just start coming out swinging. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to be careful with the Chi Yu. The Chiyu is, Chi is incredibly strong, but you're, are, you're checking into a Fairy-type Calyrex that's even boosted now. I think Incineroar, and you just try and start knocking down, maybe start knocking down that Shadow Rider and force it to switch out. I think if you do want to get anything done, you have to at least land one solid hit, which is very difficult because every turn this Calyrex is just doing spread damage that's going to KO your Raging Bolt um, and might 
not KO the Chi Yu, but it's still going to take a lot of damage here. I wonder, it is running a Choice Scarf, so it should at least outspeed. Um, it could go for a Snarl, perhaps, just to reduce the damage, maybe even allow the Raging Bolt to survive with all of those heals. It is at pretty, it is pretty healthy right now. Yeah, I think I think the Heat Wave here, it, or they, they're going for the Terra Ghost Overheat, really trying to block okay. any damage that Calyrex can do and just hit it as hard as they can. I like that. What's well. interesting here is Bradley didn't bring his restricted Pokemon. I don't know if this will be a super common thing for the rest of the week. It's interesting to not bring you restricted, so he must really? trust the back half of his team to really pull a lot of weight and deal against the other restricteds. Could also be good just getting a feel out for your opponent, how they play, allow you to better adapt and play with your state restricted in the next one. But Overheat coming out, it is going to KO the Calyrex, and that is going to be that huge threat finally taken out. So now this game has opened up quite a bit, thankfully. Uh, gonna have a little bit of breathing room, and maybe we can see some good plays coming out. Okay, that's gonna be a huge hit onto the GU with that knockoff from Incineroar, and that's gonna be one less Pokemon to work with for Bradley. Yeah, so it really depends what is the back half here in Austin's team. We have we have that Raging Bolt up. He, we know we have he has Raging Bolt. We don't know what that fourth Pokemon is. Mm -hmm. So that's the question. Down. What does he have? He has a Moongus. Ah, a Moongus. Usually this is a lead Mon, just because of how potent those spores and redirections can be. But now we're seeing it come out as the last Mon here. Uh, that ooh, Intimidate. Or the uh, Incineroar, I call it Intimidate because that's what it does all the time. It does have goggles on the side of Bradley. So. But here's the interesting thing. No fire move. His options of dealing with Amoongus are a little restricted. So he has to deal with that either Incineroar and leave Amoongus to, to try and take it out. It is going to be a tight battle here. Yeah, this, this might just come down to the wire. I really could imagine this going either way. Incineroar gonna get the fake out onto the opposing Incineroar. Dragon Pulse coming out to just chunk him down oh, it lives. further. And a crit. Oh. Oh, but that, that Incineroar, so chance of doing things. Safety Missed goggles. Sport. Safety goggles Safety keeping goggles. him awake. Oh man. Okay, the swings are coming through. I gotta see the HP for this Pokemon here. I really wanna know how scared I should be. This Raging Bolt is proving to be a huge threat now. Grassy Surge actually running out. You don't see that too often. Usually the battle's over before any terrains dissipate, but here we are, they're still swinging and they wanna take this further. Now, I, I we're seeing I some see really that. interesting sets in these Pokemon that are very different to what we've seen before. I mean, Calm Mind Raging Bolt has been such an important Pokemon for this battle. It's been a very persistent threat this game. It basically got knocked down to about three, uh, one third, and now it's back up to basically full. Um, the Protect is going to come out, keep that Amoongus in things. Knockoff is going to come out as well. Uh, oh, the first knockoff was from the other Incineroar onto the Raging Bolt. Parting shot. Things are getting protected, but the opposing Incineroar is now reduced in effectivity. That's going to be switch out back to the Raging Bolt on the side of Justin. And now we're really gaming. <laughs> yeah, uh, we are in the end game here. We'll see what they can do here. We have a Raging Bolt full health, but at that sort of, that's at neutral. And we have the Raging Bolt that's plus one at special attack and special defense. It's just, I, I, there's no obvious right play for either of these players, unfortunately. So you have to be really scared no matter what you're doing. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if maybe we actually see an Incineroar switch here. We don't see the Incineroar switch. Protect comes out. That's Draco Meteor really into the Protect. Really smart. That's just another turn gone, allowing Bradley to get some more usage out of this Incineroar. That's a Snarl. So now this Raging Bolt is probably not even going to get a KO if that Draco uh, Meteor, uh, Meteor comes out next turn. It is going to be super effective. Plus, Raging Bolt is pretty strong. I'm actually not sure. But Raging Bolt is so tanky. It's I can't say for sure if it's going to survive the Draco Meteor next turn. But there still is Spore as a threat. That's yeah. another thing I just remembered as well. I think, I think Draco Meteor will do a ton of damage, but at minus one at this point, I'm not sure if it's enough to knock out. But we'll see. see. Draco Meteor lands, does not get oh, the knockout. Ah. I mean, we're talking about minus one special attack into a plus one special defense. But Dragon Pulse retaliation, it's getting, this is so scrappy. Knockoff to finish it off, forcing the uh, Incineroar to come back, or did that Incineroar get KO'd? I don't remember. No, Incineroar, I'm pretty sure is still alive. Yeah. 
I think it's swapped out for... Okay, but now his Raging Bolt is asleep. So it's an Incineroar versus Incineroar and Amoongus for like two turns. Yeah. This is this is the interesting thing with this regulation. It's there have been a lot of matches that have come down to Incineroar and Amoongus being the last Pokemon <laughs> alive and having to take out each other in these slow end games because they're so strong. Fake out could come out from the opposing Incineroar just to stall it one more turn. At least Bradley's Incineroar is at full. Thankfully, they have no real super effective moves that can come out to threaten. Um, what do you go for here? Does I don't think his Incineroar is running protect, so you can't even protect. No, just, I think you take out the Incineroar, it. and then you just start 2v1-ing the Amoongus. Uh, it looked like he actually switched the knockoff onto the Amoongus. Yeah, I mean, that's not a horrible option if you think about it, right? Not at all. I, I like that. Just make it easier and easier to keep playing your game. Rocky Helmet is going to get knocked off. It's going to be a decent amount of damage as well. And the knockoff coming out from the opposing Incineroar to take off the leftovers and take him down to really low HP. Pollen Puff to heal up his Incineroar. Okay, I really think maybe the knockoff onto the other Incineroar would have been uh, a, a, the play, but again, it's it's harder to, it's really hard to make any kind of decision here with such little information to work with. You don't know, and there's so many factors that go into the choice. Rage Powder coming out now too, to make sure that anything that was gonna come out is going to hit it instead. And that Raging Bolt is looking to be as good as done. Yeah. We'll have to see if Raging Bolt stays asleep for one more turn. Or it gets knocked out here. We are down to a 2v1. An Incineroar without a lot of good tech options into an Amoongus versus an uh, almost full about... Oh, just going to forfeit. Yeah. That makes sense. Realistically, there weren't a lot of options you could have gone for at that end there. You really couldn't do too much damage. Incineroar versus Incineroar versus Amoongus. Yeah. It, it's... Damage dealing is not any of these Pokemon's real strong suit. It's more so preventing other Pokemon from doing damage. So you're not going to one-shot anything. Necessarily. Yeah, it was it was some great pl play by Bradley there. He made a lot of, lot of right moves. He just got out-countered by that Shadow Rider Calyrex, which is so strong. So mm -hmm. we'll have to see if he brings in that restricted Pokemon to help turn that edge for him. She was a hard Pokemon to use right now. It needs to be set up correctly. I'm assuming Terrapagos is his other Pokemon if he's pairing it with the Chiyu. That seems to be a pretty common pair right now. So we'll see what they do. Yeah, I'm very interested to see how they're going to go into this next game. What one common theme I've seen throughout all of the tournaments here at St. Clair is game twos are always very interesting. But game one, you're not sure where you're going to go into. You're not sure exactly what you're going to do. But game two is when you have some information, you have some ideas, you have some game plans, and you have things to work on to kind of bring everything back in. So I really want to see how we're going to see the retaliation come out on the side of Bradley, any adjustments that might be made and uh, how he's going to try to take this one into the next game. Um, of course, near the end of that game, that's when a lot of decisions really came down to the wire. Every turn mattered, every move mattered, and it came down to such a close call. I wouldn't be surprised if next game, it, it really is anybody's game. Yeah, I think we'll see a lot of change-ups. It's also early in the week. I mean, if these both players are here for the next three days, this could be their first. This will be their first matchup, of possibly four. <laughs> exactly. So we'll see how they, what they do to counter into each other and sort of develop their own meta game. Seeing that Calyrex Incineroar lead against the Incineroar Chiyu lead. And we're back to a pretty similar... Actually, this is quite different from the first ones. The only thing that's similar here is uh, the two Incineroars and the Calyrex leading off with the Raging Bolt, I believe, in the previous one. So now, with a little bit of information on his side, Bradley's able to make a better decision on to what to lead with. I'm interested to see how he's going to try to make this turn come out, but Intimidates and everything all coming out. Special defense reduced. I think he might just try to KO the Calyrex right away. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if that's the plan. Just get it off the field and not want to deal with that anymore. Oh, I'm noticing now his Incineroar actually isn't running uh, pr uh, Fake Out, so that's why we haven't seen it coming out, but... Oh, actually, no, it is. That, sorry, that was the Chi Yu's move. Yeah. Set. I was confused for a second. Oh, because all those moves, I could believe, uh, you know, Incineroar has that, but Protect coming out onto the Calyrex. Um, fake Out is going to connect onto the opposing Incineroar, whether that's a speed tie situation. You just got to take it. Snarl coming out now. It's going to hit the Incineroar at the very least. Not going to be too effective since Incineroar is not going to be doing the uh, special attack anyways. But hey, damage is damage. Yeah, it's that little bit of damage to Incineroar. And really, that Incineroar didn't get to do anything. So it was, all, it was a free turn for Bradley at exactly. that point. Yep. So we'll see now what he does going forward. Having that double Snarl is actually really interesting. It's a great way to shut down Calyrex. Exactly. I really like that um, strategy now. But 
Hey, you know it's not looking good for you right now? Switch it out, bring out the Amoongus, start wreaking some havoc. I really respect that switch out. It makes yeah, sense. Amoongus puts a ton of pressure on, and if he can knock out that the, the flying goldfish there in Chiyu, Amoongus really can just start doing damage. But at the very least, this Chiyu actually does have fire moves. So this Amoongus might not be around for very long. No. And then Sinora not without the fake out pressure now. Bradley's still not bringing the restricted, so I'm not sure what his restricted Pokemon is. Only time will tell throughout this day, maybe throughout the tournaments in the coming days. But right now, he doesn't need a restricted Mon. He's no. gonna run with his classic strategies of Regulation F. Knockoff is gonna come out to take off the Assault Vest from the Rillaboom. Gonna do a good amount of damage as well. But with that grassy terrain out, heals are gonna be coming out all around. And now it's time to play ball once more. Rillaboom, wouldn't be surprised. Oof, actually, Grassy Glide might not be very effective against anybody. Of course, Fake Out coming out. If that's the move you have, you wanna use that every turn. Basically, our, you know, maybe U-turn into the Amoongus might not be a bad idea, but do you want to bring your Raging Bolt out? You could bring out the Incineroar, because it does have the goggles. You could call out a Spore. A lot of mind games going on here, but ultimately we're going to switch out the Chi Yu yeah. and bring back in the Incineroar just to reduce those attacks even more. It's interesting that, they, that you don't just go for the knockout on the Amoongus, but maybe he's not sure on his calculation there. If the calculation isn't there to one-shot the Amoongus, then maybe saving the Chiyu to come back in later is, the, is a great move. Exactly. And the Wood Hammer doing, honestly, a decent amount of damage, because all things considered, to that Incineroar. Parting Shot's going to come out to the opposing Incineroar now. Maybe he just wanted to avoid getting that Parting Shot. Maybe he was kind of feeling that coming out and doesn't want to have to have to switch in his Chiyu in an unfavorable turn. Just switch out the Chiyu from now and then start basically... He's just doing a switch in one turn early here. Uh, but now Calyrex coming out and... We're gonna have to be dealing with that now. Spore coming out as well, but a good read. Safety goggles are going to protect them from that. Yeah. What a great, what a great turn by Bradley. Actually, just complete the Ancidora switch was an amazing switch. He blocks taking the parting shot. He blocks the spore, and now we're looking at a grassy glide, probably into a Calyrex. That's gonna do a ton of damage. Calyrex switches out the Calyrex. <laughs> You going back to Incineroar? Ring around we are going back to Incineroar. Oh man, it's just the Incineroar carousel, isn't it? Just constant rotation of this Pokemon because it's so potent. I, w I wonder what the lowest attack uh, reduction is right now. I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, Rillaboom's at like minus three at this point. Uh, but Woodhammer is definitely not going to feel like it. Parting shot coming out onto Amoongus now, and we're probably going to see, be seeing Chi Yu back into the fray. Again, yeah, not be we'll either see Chiyu or maybe the Raging Bolt will start showing up to start getting that setup going. I think that's what he'll try running and do. Running on mind, right? Th this is the whole the whole gameplay of Regulation G that's new. Oh, is this know. game of how do I defend and get my restricted Pokemon in that setup position? Basically, I, I really like that. This is this is kind of like running singles and doubles, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. It's just, singles oftentimes just feels like getting your sweeper in a position to go through, whereas VGC is more scrappy. But this feels like singles in doubles, and I really like it. I'm more partial to, to uh, singles myself. We're going to be seeing the U-turn potentially onto the Amoongus. I feel like you just want to get a KO at this point. You're itching for it, and I feel like even if you don't get the KO, if you Grassy Glide or Woodhammer into anything that even if it switches into the Calyrex, I feel like you just want to get damage out at this point. But it doesn't seem to be the play here. Fake Out's going to come out onto the Raging Bolt. That's one less turn for this Raging Bolt to work with. And Woodhammer is going to come out once more onto the Amoongus. It's going to be about three damage, maybe. Yeah. I... It took more damage itself. Yeah, we're going to see Raging Bolt flinch. I think we'll see the... Sp oh, no, we'll see the Palm Puff heal, heal back that Incineroar. I wasn't sure if we'd see the Palm Puff or the Spore that turn to try and just knock out Raging Bolt. But now, I don't know if Raging Bolt and Rillaboom can knock out this Namungus in one turn. So we'll have to see some really good damage calcs here and see if that's possible. It's going to be healing. It's going to be healing up a really decent amount as well thanks to this grass terrain and leftover. So it didn't have a turn to act, but it also recovered all the damage that it lost, or HP that it lost in that last turn. With that Calm Mind coming out, it's going to be a hard call to make for sure because you're expecting the Parting Shot to come out onto your Raging Bolt. That's why he's going to go for the Protect, I'm assuming, at the very least. 
U-turn's gonna hit the Incineroar for almost nothing once more. Maybe he was expecting the Calyrex to come out. Um, that would be the Psychic Ghost Sniping on the Calyrex. Yes, Calyrex so. is a Psychic Ghost Pokemon. Also, correct myself, 500 points in the world, not 600 points. Thank you to chat for that. But yeah, that Calyrex being a Psychic Ghost type, really strong. And really checks into a lot of Pokemon pretty easily. As much as it checks really well, it also doesn't, like Incineroar, is very scary for it. Uh, a lot of Dark types are scary for it. Yeah. There's the knockoff, and there's the Spore. Oh, that double great. combo, setting that Incineroar to sleep. I it's really, bedtime. I really feel like if if you got that U-turn off, if you if that Calyrex did switch in, it'd be you'd be in such a good position right now. But again, these players are just so aware of what kind of plays they might be trying to make. They're making mind games against their mind games in the future. It's incredible. Yeah, this is this is a format where you have to make the correct prediction. You have to figure out what's my opponent gonna do, what can I do to check into that correctly. And then what do they think I'm gonna do based with off of that so I can counter that instead. Yeah. And then they gotta counter that. It's incredible. And, and it's exactly such a new seeing. format that who knows what the right move is at this point. It's very scary to kind of commit to anything and again this is my favorite point of any format is the figuring out phase because that's all i do i just like to figure things out and try calm mind is finally going to come out i guess he's feeling comfortable sticking his head out of the dirt for a second here like looking around like a like a groundhog seeing if you can get anything out of this but is it gonna come back to bite you you are gonna hit the knockoff it's gonna get the leftovers unfortunately and the spore there's the spore that there spore is. is incredibly strong. That is huge. Both Pokemon are asleep. This is Austin's turn. If he wants to start laying on the damage, now is the time to do it. We'll see if he makes the switch. I wouldn't be shocked if we see a parting shot into the Raging Bolt this turn and really just knock mm -hmm. down Raging Bolt after taking that Calm Mind. At that point, though, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the switch for the Raging Bolt because it is asleep. You know, even if you switch back in, it's still be, it'll still be asleep, which is unfortunate, but you'd rather that than a Raging Bolt that's damaged and asleep and also minus, like, two or three. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what the correct play is here. This is such there a is new none. format. Exactly. I, I think you got to leave Raging Bolt and hope it wakes up real quick. <laughs> just just uh, start really rolling those dice as the Calyrex comes out finally, ready to do some damage here. And we could see the Nasty Plot coming out too uh, next turn. Incineroar taking a little bit of damage here. Snarl, once again, is going to be the selection. And now you got to really, really hope your Raging Bolt got a lot of rest last night, so it's not going to need to take an extra turn to recover itself here. But with those moves committed, the Rage Powder is going to make any decision made basically nullified as that's going to be forced onto the Amoongus and the Nasty Plot is going to come out successfully. No one's going to be able to stop that one and it appears they're still asleep. Yes, not going to wake up. Not going to wake up. Really you hate to see it. I mean, Incineroar will be guaranteed to wake up this turn and I think it's been asleep for three turns already so we'll see it wake up this turn. And we'll see now what it can do, but that Calyrex is set up and that Calyrex is ready to start wreaking havoc. Let's see now. You got another turn to work with here. Raging Bolt is gonna wake up, I believe. This is a this is a Bradley is not right? having no. much luck with those sleep turns this game. He's been asleep all three turns every time. You hate to see it. Double There's another nasty, nasty ball ready. Plus four Calyrex ready to wipe the floor. I don't know what you can do here. And Sarah gets up, gets the snarl off. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> Forgot gets rage. the damage, and now we're down to a plus three Calyrex. Nice. That's still a plus three Calyrex <laughs> that's ready to deal a ton of damage. And the Raging Bolt's still asleep, too. That's the that's the heartbreaking part of this. It should be able to get the Protect off, but again, assuming it still Incineroar is able to even get the snarl off, you're still looking at a plus two Calyrex. It's just a very bad situation to be in all around. And Amoongus making even harder since your uh, Raging Bolt doesn't have any spread moves, it's going to be forced to be hitting this Amoongus every turn. Yeah, the Raging Bolt does wake up after three turns of snoozing, but is it too little too late? Thunderclap misses because it had to Thunderclap into a Raging Bolt. It's got Draining Kiss to heal back up. That is some interesting tech. I forgot Shadow Rider got Draining Kiss. <laughs> That's an incredibly strong move to have on a plus two special attacker. Oh, and the raging or the parting shot gonna be forced into the Moongus once again because of the Rage Powder. And we're gonna see the switch in. 
Oh, I mean, you want you might even think about the Rillaboom so you could try to get the fake out, but again, you can't even get the fake out because of Rage Powder. You can't U-turn, you can't Grassy Glide, Rage Powder, Rage Powder, Rage Powder. The best you could hope for is to KO the Amoongus, but if you even think about doing that, you're eating an Astral Barrage plus three. Yeah, it's it's a very scary state. Amoongus, like, that Shadow is in such a good position. There's that Thunderclap. That Thunderclap will do a lot, but if it's redirected back into Amoongus for another turn, I think we'll be in a position where Calyrex can just sweep the rest of the game. Unless this Amoongus just decides to not Rage Powder this turn and not Spore, unless it, maybe it Pollen Pops itself. Yeah. That's somehow, <laughs> then that's a very good situation to be in. But other, other than that, this really is just a hard place to be. You're gonna switch out the Rillaboom, take it back in the Incineroar. Yes, you're gonna reduce the attack, but again, neither of these are attackers on the side of Justin's field. So it's something, but it's not exactly what you're looking for. Rage Powder comes up once more. I think it was a Dragon Pulse selected out by the Raging Bolt. But there's that Astro Barge. Yeah. How much will it do? Enough to KO, I'm pretty sure. Knocks out the Raging Bolt, and Sonora hangs on, which is a good thing to know. Mm -hmm. A plus three Astro Barrage does not knock out Incineroar. But, but it's now a plus four exactly. Astro Barrage. This is, you could not ask for anything more on this Calyrex. It's going to be protected. It's going to be able to KO anything that threads it to it. It's even going to be able to heal itself. It's going to have an Amoongus that can heal it, and it's also going to have an Amoongus that can protect it with Rage Powder. And the so. other important thing to know, Neither side has used the Terrestrialization yet. Oh, that's so true. We could see the Terra. So I wouldn't true. be shocked if we see the Terra Fairy Calyrex and just eat up both those Dark type attacks and hit another Astral Barrage. I think that would most likely just end up being the game if we see something like that. But while it's not happening, all you can do is keep your play going. Going for some of those fire moves to try to hit that Amoongus if it uses the Rage Powder. That might even be enough to KO based off of the fact it's super effective. Plus with the reduced special defense coming up from Shiyu. Protect. Seeing the protect. Come out. So I'm assuming a Spore maybe? Or Double, double protect. protect. Okay. That's Try and really just smart. fully bait out what the other team is going to do. And waste the, waste the fake out which I don't disagree with there. That's just a really smart play all around. You see what your opponent's doing, you see what they were thinking about doing, and that allows you to get into their head and make some decisions based off of that as well. So. Yeah, the, the important thing to know here with Overheat is that now that Shadow Rider cannot, will take the Overheat, but Chiyu didn't get the special attack drop because it was hit to protect. So now with this next turn coming up, we're going to have the GU going to commit to the overheat once again. You know, it's going to hit the Moongus, but this time you're not too upset about that fact. Unfortunately, however, uh, I think that's still going to allow the Alsha Barrage to come out. Actually, that Whoa. is going to be a KO. Okay. That's... I know GU was powerful and you have that special defense drop, but wow, to one shot the Moongus is, is impressive. But here's the plus four Astral Barrage. That's gonna be Knocks out the Chiyu, yeah. takes out the Incineroar. All that's left is Rillaboom here. And with with Justin still having three Pokemon to work with, it's just looking pretty difficult to get anything done here. You're gonna have your Rillaboom as your last man standing, but it looks to be the telltale sign of a concluded battle, but a very hard fought one indeed. And sort of we still don't even know what Austin brought as his fourth Pokemon. He could have anything back there. Is it the Raging Bolt? And there's the forfeit. What an incredible, what an incredible first round of Swiss. Very good games all around. I feel like if any of these games come even close to the level of play we saw in this first one, we're gonna have a great day. And if we're gonna have a great day today, I think we're gonna have a great weekend. <laughs> yeah, that was an incredible first set. I mean, both players played their hearts out. And it's only getting started. They have a few, tons of time to bounce back for Bradley after that first loss, but he played incredibly well. His switches were great. He just got put into a position where that double spore and that full three turns of sleep. You hate to see that. Oh, Those three turns yeah. of sleep are absolutely brutal, and it can change a game completely.
and what's what's on top of that as well. Like there were a couple of moments, of course, there we observed this play, that play might have worked, might have not worked. But ultimately, especially with the new format, new Pokemon, it's really hard to make any decisions. But you have to just make something. You have to go for something, and oftentimes it's exactly what your opponent wants you to do, and you end up putting yourself in a bad situation after. Yeah, I mean, again, both incredible positions. I think we are starting to see why Shadow Rider is being played so much. Yeah. As much as it is a Pokemon that hasn't seen success, it's hard to say that it's not a good Pokemon. Very difficult. Shadow Rider <laughs> is so strong, and you really have to bring something just to counter, sh counter Shadow Rider. Mm -hmm. That Terra Fairy blocking all of the Dark-type moves, you have to have a Steel-type ready. There's not a lot of strong Steel-type attackers right now. So do you bring Golden Go? Do you bring... What other options do you bring? It will be it will be interesting to see how the meta here at St. Clair evolves over these next four days. And I think this is just a start to the to the rest of the weekend. Absolutely, and with all of those different decisions that you have to make, again, it just really emphasizes the beauty that is competitive Pokemon. There's so many decisions to make. There's so many options available to you. There's never one right answer, unless it's bringing Calyrex, which we've seen after Game 1. But ladies and gentlemen, while we get ready for Game 2, we hope to see you there. We're going to send it to a quick break. Don't go anywhere. A lot more action coming up soon.